here it right outside of San Diego with uh, Roman Missile Exegy and Schizophrenic Queen. We're at the Creation Museum. Let's go. All right, let's go. Genesis. Oh look, I, I guess I'm a heretic. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The tri universe. Chart. Tri universe. Tri universe. I'm taking one of all of these. Take as many as you like. <laughs> I'm gonna take them all and I'm gonna make a spreadsheet on how they're all wrong. Go for it. Oh look at this. Oh, uh, Michael, take a look at this. What's that? Look at this. Creationist religions. Well, to go Biblical with the evolution. Christianity. Oh, I guess by their logic, I'm a I'm part of a liberal branch. Hilarious. Oh, evolutionary religions? It's okay. different? It doesn't even say anything evolutionary or religious. Nope. Oh, but it gives some examples of atheism. Wow. Wait, atheism is religion now. <laughs> so is this one. Humanism? <laughs> By their logic. New Age-ism. Hmm. Confucianism? It's not ism this is not a religion, by the way. Buddhism? Neither is this, 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 or... Liberalism? This. Evolution is more religious than creation. Yeah, we're totally religious. <laughs> well, technically I am, but... And yet like creationist these. religions you can actually reasonably define, whereas here you're just putting a bunch of words mm -hmm. that don't even necessarily... Because atheism is not a religion. No, it's not. Marxism and fascism, they're not a religion. They're political ideologies. Yeah, they're political ideologies, and they're just saying, oh, well, it's religion. Mm. <laughs> Already, we're in the first room. <laughs> we're in the first room, Jacob. 
<laughs> Already, I'm like, <laughs> do we dare? I've been here. I've the last time I was here was two years ago. And we're only on day two, man. Day two. Day two. Going to which commander they assign, and it rises not, and seal it up the stars. Look at the stars. <laughs> which make That's actually pretty cool. Orion, and please, and the chambers of the south. <coughs> I like the twinkling effect. Yeah, and wonders without it. There are well few names. See, we have seven stars in the Orion. And turneth the shadow of death into the morning, and maketh the day dark. That calleth for the waters of the sea, and poureth them out upon the face of the earth. The Lord is his name. I wonder how they would make up the Vatican Observatory. The moon and the star thou hast contained. I wonder how many of these pictures. And the son of man. Oh, all the pictures are excited. The greater light to rule the day. The lesser light to rule the Oh, oh, my first time. Here, look at this. This is wrong, wrong, wrong. It's not an explosion of space. It's an expansion of space. Big difference. The fallacies in the Big Bang Theory. Wow. <laughs> Contradicts conservation of energy law? No, it doesn't. Con contradicts law of increasing entropy? No, it doesn't. Homogeneous origin? They rejoice. They see the ratio. They don't realize that those are two separate. Yeah. Did, you get, did you get the free audio? Oh, yeah, I got one. I want to make sure you get everything. Big Bang Theory wasn't changing the law. They're completely wrong. Which no. shaken the earth, not from the place, and the pillars of the earth. Which commanded the sun, they are right along the earth. And see with the earth. They're crying. Which is the way to the earth. I hear the earth. Which made it more true. 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 See, for me, mm -hmm. in the evolution, the butterfly is the same point. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Right, exactly. And you can have both at the same time. Mm-hmm. And they still get into it. Yep. They have an animatronic butterfly in there. I cough a lot, and that's just because yeah. I'm a smoker. Well, the thing is, we're going to have been a problem yeah. over here. It's been out there for a while. Uh, this is the latex hair coat on, on, a, on, a, on a acrylic, I mean, you know, latex mm -hmm. acrylic background. And that's when I painted over. In other words, we had a set that looked just like this. And I, 
matched a little. It's definitely hard. well done. And yeah. I'm working Adam and Eve, which was missing off of the day six. Mm -hmm. uh, very well done. Isn't that funny? Yeah. <laughs> this is very well done. Does very, the very text good acrylics job. blend help you get the different colors? Well, no. It looks like shadows. Right. Well, now that's different. <coughs> now what, what I do, that's what I'm using here. Right? I'm into oil paint alcohol. And the alcohol feature, that synthetic feature, oh, allows it to dry in 18 hours. Oh, okay. And, okay. Keep it it and so I finished working this by 6 o'clock last evening. Now I don't want to push on it hard because right. it's, so it's, so it's, it's getting over. <coughs> and it might take a month before it's solid. Mm -hmm. But I worked a lot of this area and finished this up and going in here. Mm -hmm. But at least I think I could probably lean against it, see, without no. anything mm -hmm. coming off on my hand. Mm -hmm. And that was just since 6 o'clock last evening. How long have you been working on it? Uh, well, but, did you do all these ones? You know, 20 years ago, mm -hmm. I worked with the Institute for Creation Research as the artist. Mm -hmm. And I uh, did day three that plant day when you came around the corner. Uh -huh. And have you done your first, first trip here? It's, oh, it's mine. And it's been a long time for me. Yeah. My first time here. Okay, yeah, then when time. you get around the corner on the other side of the fall, you can see the uh, nose art wall, and I did that. Mm -hmm. And then I did other smaller things in different places, like uh, part of the things in the ice cream and so on. But uh, yeah, not other, not the major walls and mm -hmm. none of the decorations. That was 20 years ago. Uh -huh. And then after I retired 12 years ago, I guess it's still 12. Like yeah. it should, maybe it should go up after a while, you know. <laughs> <It's cool. laughs> and they call me on a moth dodge, you know, knock a few barnacles off and say, I would like you to do this particular thing because of what I had done before. Mm -hmm. Everything else I did before was an acrylic. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever you see is acrylic coated with this uh, latex clear coat. And I am assuming, I thought about it, did a little investigating, and I'm taking the position that I can paint oil over the latex or over the acrylic. So yeah. We can do that because it dries faster. Now the question is raised, since you have an interest in these things, is this uh, this material is difficult? Uh, is it porous enough? Microscopically, it can be received of an oil paint and it stick on it. So far, after two and a half months on and off, working most a lot of time on it, for all the hours, mm -hmm. hours or something. <coughs> and at this point, I don't see evidence of anything sliding off or whatever or peeling off. So I think maybe this is going to work. At least, at least if you, I don't know if you know. <coughs> anything about the tribulation period or you know the, we call it the rapture if you've yeah. heard that term and so on. Mm -hmm. that, that kind of there, are, there are, is a, a large segment of Christians who anticipate the rapture and I, and I hope it lasts that at least into the tribulation period because <laughs> I think that's sooner on than not hundreds of years from now. Uh -huh. <laughs> the thing about art is trial and error. And even yeah. if you get an error, you just got to keep going. Yeah. And I, that one, as an artist, I really appreciate your art. Can I shake your hand? What do you do? Oh, I, I'm a disabled veteran. So mostly I, I, I got a clean enough finger for you. Yeah. It's got oh. to have a little bit of a... Uh, uh -huh. uh, I don't mind how. I paint a lot. <laughs> like, what do you paint? Um, mostly I do abstracts. I'm not yeah. very... Oh, I don't mean the style. Yeah. Um, I paint on you paint whatever you want. Basically. I paint whatever I want, basically. Yeah, what medium? Kind of like when I write, I write I whatever I want. I find that I'm doing really well with um, oils and oh, watercolors, yeah. uh -huh. and that uh, I can do decently with acrylics yeah. too. But like the more interesting things that I do tend to be in either oils or watercolors. Mm -hmm. And people yeah. say those are like the harder ones, and I feel like you just have to experiment yeah. with them. It's a little funny, bit. isn't it? And then I don't, I'm like on your page. I can never understand the confusion about it. <clears throat> Whenever somebody says, oh, watercolor is so difficult, I, I have to go into a little teaching lesson and point out it's not difficult. Well, you can't mix the colors before you apply them. It's but one who wants to do that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. Uh -huh. I, I'm a layered person, too. Yeah. I think a lot of the thing is um, people are afraid of painting. I'm a writer. I'm not going <clears throat> Um, a lot of people are afraid of making mistakes to the point that, in some uh -huh. cases, they won't even try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So well, These are my lessons that I teach when people come by. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's one of them, yeah. And, and, I, and, I, and this is one of them, you probably do it too. If you're talking to somebody who won't give it a try, I always say uh, you need to downsize, downgrade your expectations. 
Oh, true. Yeah. I mean, they think, oh, I, because I can't draw and paint like something they read in a book or somebody else or their aunt or somebody, then they're not an artist. And I think, wait a minute, if you I think, think you're an artist, you're an artist. I think not any kid with crayons is an artist. Yeah. There you go. And, and I'm always selling the concept, they're always artists. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, but the question is, how good? And, and the best artist who really thinks he's something else, she, whichever the case may be, is just a fish that's going to be swallowed up by a bigger fish. There's an artist that's better that would come along and say, ah, oh, this is a strange abstract. They don't make any sense to it. And, and they should make sense, or whatever the person says, you know? But the bottom line is, there's always a bigger fish, so we do the best we can. Uh-huh. Absolutely. I'm noticing some of the detail you have here. You know, you're zooming in on my little yeah. guys. I did little that deliberately right for the and look, the little setting here for the Apatosaurus and the iguana down on the left side. You see them feeding right here. Oh, <coughs> I do those little things in case anybody cares to zoom in visually. They get a little treat. Oh yeah, There's little yeah. treats in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. In fact, it's kind of funny in a way the amount of time I spent like a whole afternoon probably working very yeah. desperately with magnifying glass oh, when you get into so it, that I get this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Once you get going, sometimes it's hard to know how much time you spend yeah. on anything. Right. Well, mm -hmm. yeah. and in my case now, my position has always been, I'm really doing this work for my heavenly father. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's always good. They're in between my service to him and where I am is the client. Mm -hmm. So the client says, I like it. Most everybody, it's been done for at least a month. Uh -huh. So I average about three hours, maybe four, four <coughs> hours a day times however many days that is, broken up with a few other projects. There's a lot of days since it's been done. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to know where it is, artists, I am now a place where yesterday I was working my way down and I wanted to make some refinements, a few refinements in here. I want to finish this lineup. I want to finish my little grassy things in here. Kind of a few little refinements. Then I want to move over to this side and make a few refinements. Not so much because we're going to put some more of this shrubbery. Mm -hmm. And I want to open this still. No, nobody will see the difference. Well, I, Mostly still, for the untrained eye, they won't notice the difference. Had a fox, who's a baby fox. I want him out sure. And you got to think on that a little bit because uh, he's okay. He passes, and I, I don't have to fight for it. Uh -huh. expectations. I can't take this for him. Uh -huh. I can only take it about 85%. When I reach my point where I'm satisfied, then, then I have to see if the client's satisfied. And the client's usually always been satisfied, so that's not even an issue. So once we get satisfied, then oh, yeah. I'm done. You seem like a very diligent working yeah. person. No. So there's a level of satisfaction that, yeah. that you're looking for. Exactly. That also adds a level of uh, enrichment towards the, the end product, which right. is what the client is. Doing. Exactly. I, I pass the client's requirements usually on every project I do. Art walls, art, commercial, illustration, whatever I've done it through the years. Uh, yeah, I, I go past the client until I get satisfied. But I have to break off before I'm 100% satisfied or I go nuts. And by the way, speaking of abstract, an abstract art, one of my. Uh, comfort zones is that I work in all media and all subject matter. Now, I mean, you may say, you know, samples of your variety of stuff. You'd have to look in little sections of things to say, oh, well, I see, if that were blown up, that'd be an abstract piece. I, uh, I, I it's a whole part of me that would never compromise bone in my body if I painted a whole show of abstracts. Uh -huh. Abstract expressionism, big, I'm really big on that. But I, in my world, I can't seem to get past the painterly style normally, you know, or watercolor, or wherever the media is. Like I said, I'm comfortable with everything. I can do pastel, I can absolutely enjoy everything. Yeah, that's when my partners the gallery would have a problem figuring out who I was, and I would never want to be pictured. Uh -huh. I'm familiar. I don't want to be, that's probably how you feel. You, you want to do what you want to do. Oh, yeah. 
For me, my dream would be if I, as an artist, if I were producing a body of work, I'd want them to say, to be asking, what is Ross doing this year? Not, I always like the one with the red dot on the nose, and I want a painting with a red dot on the nose. Maybe red dots don't go in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is in my heart as an artist? There you go. What's your name? You really got me four and four. Well, it's the same idea with being a writer as with any kind of uh, artistic expression. I hope. I know that this is a, a, a impromptu tour that's coming through. So I can ah, yes. Yeah. Ah, yes. Artist. My <laughs> method. Hi. Yeah. Sorry to be bo sorry to bother you. Oh no, you're, you're not bothering me. By the way, it's a this has been characteristic of why I take so long. 120 hours. That's yeah. probably tours keep on interrupting you. No, I I interrupt you talking to people. I'm uh, oh, so I'm I'm giving out art lessons as kids come by and people who don't see them. They say, oh, I want to do this, but I can't. Then I teach them how. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of fun. Like people just instantly want to make it. Go to the church and go to school. Right. Yeah. What's your name? Marvin. 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 Now you've got some of this chemical on your hand. You want some chemical? <laughs> I take it. Yeah. Uh, thanks for chatting with us. Yeah. And then of course on biblical issues, you know. We should probably get out of their way. So yeah. Somebody Oh, you dropped the seed. No, I didn't. But uh, I got mine. Um, this is interesting. coming through. Yeah. So after they have finished with we'll the get out of the way. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Yeah. Fall of man. That's what I do. I like sound. That's fine. That's fine. That was cool. Oh, you can scan this. They should uh, put the uh, URL next to it. So in case someone takes a picture and somebody wants to get. Yeah. Let me take a picture of it real quick. There you go. Death before sin. Oh, yeah, these are. No, I don't think Reversal of the
Isn't that amazing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's how it is. between you and me like it's it can be funny and to look at all this but I do think that if we it's really kind of sad that our kids are exposed to this like what when they get when they get older and they're exposed to more information they're gonna feel cheated out when they're older you know and this these places don't help it at all that really game scares me I don't feel like as an educated society we can afford to oh. indulge in these things as much as we can. Mm-hmm. Oh, I did. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Been there. I have never been there. Yep. I've never been there. I've been in my life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's this? It's a uh, proof that uh, I guess creation could have happened quickly because all of the things that we use as proof were formed by Mount St. Helens, like stratification of rock. Rapidly formed peat layers. Rapid recovery of an ecosystem and ecosystem to blast it. That's actually what it looked like when I was there. Really? Yeah, like years after the actual explosion, the trees were still stripped bare and just laying there. Wow. Years and years later. There's actually less trees when I was there. Like less than there. What does he have a PhD in? I don't know. say. Don't, don't most scientists have to show where they got their PhD? No. No? Really? These are uh, numbered as if, like, they come out, like, every month. Like, we might be able to subscribe to it. Maybe. I uh, wonder how much a subscription is. Get one for an inventor gorilla. Okay. Is he still a creationist? I don't know, I haven't, I haven't, fo I haven't been following. Oh, IG? I don't think he's a creationist no. anymore. Ah, okay. Yeah, there's like Ice Age or the Age of the Earth. Which one do you want to go to? Uh, whichever. To the Age of the Earth. Whoa! I got all these pants. Whoa! 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 Whoa!
cave for kids. For these online. Hmm, you can always look. Well, I'll ask the lady up front.
You're really like face palming right now. <laughs> this is really stupid. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying. I'm, from, I'm, I'm not trying to be mean, but this is really stupid. I do not have any sort of face palm related injuries. evaluation of pagan religion. Mm. Oh. I wonder if they think I'm pagan. Who knows though? They don't really say it outright. Knife of sacrifices. Oh and look. Where? Where am I looking? Like it's like a giant phallus on the sacrifice god. Yeah he did. Okay. I wanna make sure before I shove them back in my pocket that we're gonna impossible to reach. I'm not 
sure. Doesn't really specify. Cosmogenies of China and India. Especially if you read Aquinas. Seriously, Platonism is not a bad thing. It's gonna get some tweets from that in here. The anti-Christian philosophies, Epicureanism, Stoicism, Gnosticism, Neoplatonism. Hmm. I can understand Gnosticism being on there, but I don't understand Neoplatonism being on there. Well, I definitely understand Epicureanism. Yeah, and look at this. It greatly influenced Augustine, Gregory, and other Catholic theologians. So why is that a bad thing? I don't see how that's a bad thing at all. Seriously. Thales of Miletus is on the list. Yay! He made it. I mean, they, they, they frame these guys in a way I said that's supposed to be a bad thing, but it's not. Seriously, that's ridiculous. Thomas Aquinas, right there. I mean, almost, a million, almost a millennium after Augustine, though Thomas Aquinas made many significant <laughs> Christian theology and apologetics. How would you be a responsible for it? What the fucking. However, he was largely responsible for introducing the great chain of being in Greek evolutionism into European religious philosophy. One of the intended results a result of the teachings of Aquinas, another well-meaning theologian of time, was undermined. That was the hardest baseball yet. That was so fucking stupid. I'm not doing. Jacob, Jacob, you're our token Christian here. The Reformation, the Reformers believed in two basics. That the Bible, is, as God's inspired word, tells men and women things true about God, and the Bible tells the truth, despite the fact that the church never believed in sola scriptura until the Reformation. At its core, the leaders of the Reformation were seeking to remove the humanistic... No, it was, a pol it was mostly a political conflict. You freaking idiots. This meant that science and art were set free to operate... No, that was never the case. That's false. Sometimes I feel with these displays, they, I think... Many they feel scientists they just believe that the world was created by a reasonable in a God display with words. Yeah, people can find then they feel like they have a point. Or oh they feel like goodness. they have a point. This one is stupid. Seriously. Oh my goodness. That is, this one is stupid. The reformers believed in two basic... Their belief was not 
believe in your early church. It was a new freaking idea. <sighs> Seriously. Yeah. The, the flat earth myth. Myth. I'm sorry, that just irritated me so badly. We're gonna redundant over here. Um, there were, there were people who did believe in a flat earth idea, but... Maybe. They have the right idea, but I think they're kind of making it more grandiose than it really was. Like Oil. Like when Columbus sailed to mm -hmm. the Americas or whatever, mm -hmm. they didn't think the earth was flat, but there was no. a lot of debate on exactly how big it was. Right, that's true. So like, they thought it was much bigger and he thought it was much smaller. Right. I'm looking at this now. Rene Descartes, current mathematician, he was a lot of things. He wasn't just a mathematician. <sighs> Such an oversimplification of Descartes. Well, the thing is, they Forcing me to do this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Samuel Morse. Check it out. Erasmus Darwin What's that? was the unacknowledged source of most of Darwin's ideas. What? I don't even know if that's true or not, because I need to do more I, reading on I that. I guess topic. that means he's just a ripoff artist. I need to do more reading on that topic because I don't know if that's true or not. Charles Lyle. Most people think Darwin originated the theory of evolution, but he did not even originate the idea from na of natural selection. He just came yeah, I can't it's stand the right much. time to be the catalyst of revival of ancient paganism. Darwin's only college degree was in theology. His book. That's, that's the, well, I do technically consider myself quote unquote pro life, but the problem I have with wow. the current pro life movement is that it really misses the ball in terms of a lot of things they could do. Like, for example, the accusation that pro-life people don't care about the person Wait, once they're as born. Evolution. There's truth to that thing. And that's exactly. really Karl Marx. You know? The thing is, it depends on who's like the other. Because you know what's really detrimental to the life of the fetus? What? The death of the mother. Yeah, it's true. And I feel like these people are trying to take a stance on medicine when they are not medically educated. Yeah. So that's where I get all up in arms. Like Rush okay. Limbaugh didn't doesn't even research half of the things he talks about. Mm -hmm. um, and yet he talks about them and people believe what he says because he's presented as an authority. Mm -hmm. There's psychological studies that show people will follow what they perceive to be an authority. That's true. That is definitely true. I don't deny that at all. In the 19th century. Like with this, they're presenting it in a fashion which is it's like an a museum. Well, this is all. This is all an. This is all a completely oversimplification of all these yeah, people. Yeah, they're presenting people. it in a way like you're going to the museum. Yeah. Creation. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Right. I wrote you about it. You're going to the creation museum. Mm -hmm. So there's this perception of authority. Mm -hmm. This is the perception that these people know better than you do. Of course they wouldn't lie to you. Of course, course they wouldn't put well, nice displays under oversimplifications. Well, the thing is, so I don't. Per, I personally don't think they're trying to be uh, deceiving. I do think they really believe. I think the they're stuff. trying too intensely to hold on to things. 
Yeah, I don't think they're doing it intentionally, though. I don't think though. they're doing it maliciously. Right, that's true. Well, that's true. That's true. Of course, it's really hard to tell because we don't personally know them, you know, so we can't really make. We can't get an in in-depth interview like we did with the artist. Yeah. The kid is nice. There's no problem with the uh-huh. I'll talk to anybody. People are, people are interesting. Oh, uh, that's true. Look at this. The fiction of Ernst Haeckel's drawings. I made an entire video like a year ago. Yeah. I'll, I'll send it I'll send it to you when I have a chance. Consequences of evolutionary thinking are past consequences. Racism. The Nazi Holocaust. That's from Nazi Holocaust. Present consequences. Oh, this area is new. I've never seen that before. Is God's goodness the Savior, Jesus? He's like a parachute. Why do women have abortions? The moment you put on the Lord Jesus Christ and put your trust in him, Alicia, God will forgive your sins, dismiss your case, and grant you the gift of everlasting life. God will forgive our sins, including abortion, and grant us the gift of everlasting life. Does that make sense? Yes. Do you have a Bible at home? Yes. Do you want to think about this? Yes. That would be 180. Yeah, I made a video on that. Two things you have to I don't know if you, I don't remember if you've seen her, but yeah. I've seen it. I've made one too. And <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen it. I have to watch it. Human body exhibit starts here. Yeah, this is, this area is new. Yeah. I've never seen this area before. I just sort of wonder over here. Exactly. Mitochondrion, lysome. Oh, problems with evolution. <laughs> this? This graph is very misleading because evolution is not strictly this. Yeah. Well, to be fair, to be fair, the creationists, the graph there, they, they that would mislead them to think that's what evolution <coughs> teaches. With that's not that's really not the most exact graph. Yeah. Thank you. 
said so funny over there. I don't even want to look at that. He was all like... So you've had a white kid and a black kid, and that was cool. Adam didn't have to wonder, like, hey, is that my kid? Because they had enough generic, genetic variation to cover that. That would make Jerry Springer a lot easier to figure it out, right? Well, I, I guess, everyone's everyone's kid. I guess, got genetic variation. I guess Jerry Springer can now get a Bible on his show now and just compare. <laughs> oh yeah, could be his. Well, we can get some lunch after this. Like, we're, we still we still got time before I have to go to work. It's up to you guys. Do you want to get lunch? That sounds like it'd be good. All right, we'll go after this. Sounds good. You're not gonna be sick because of all the research. No, I'll be fine. The trustworthiness of scripture. You know how we can trust the scripture? How? Oh, because the scripture says so. Ah, circular reasoning is awesome because circular reasoning is awesome. <laughs> their souls to him in well-being as unto a faithful creator. Let's read that second part again. Commit the keeping See, of their souls the the to him uh -huh. How do you know well-doing as unto a faithful creator. Commit mm. the keeping of your soul as unto a faithful creator. What, what you see here in the museum has been the faithfulness of the Creator. Now, there are many wild factors, and that's amazing, and I'll think about that, but when we stop and pause and really consider, what does this all mean? You don't call that. Faithfulness. That's the language. Faithfulness of the Creator. What should I do with that information? The fact that the Creator is faithful. Like, this is more of a process thing, so they do accept sacrifice only He was faithful in how he made the Earth. He was faithful yeah. in how he made your body. Now, he desires mm -hmm. for you I don't even know to put your faith in him. Oh, never mind. I see it. I see it. Of your soul. Keeping of my soul, what that mean? Yeah, he's fatter than me. The Bible says so clearly. I'm just told. We have a huge problem. <laughs> All have sinned and come short. Of the glory of God. This is a nice theater area. All just like to end it all, just like sit down sure and yeah. listen to his Honestly, message. Yeah. Please take my, my storybook. It's free out there in the bookstore. Yeah, I can use some lunch. Right now, though. Shamed and embarrassed, but it's, it's the truth. I sin. I don't know you, but God does. And God said all this sin and come short of the glory of God. That's the problem. The consequence is for it. it says in, in the book of Isaiah, your iniquities have separated you between you and your God. I was separated from God. It wasn't God's fault. It was my fault. I separated myself because of my sins. Furthermore, set myself on a track that the Bible calls Christianity. He called it a disease and once said the heaviest blow which ever struck you. And we're at the gift shop. How much is it? It doesn't give me the price. Hmm. Yeah, what it is it? It doesn't give me the price. It's like a big giant man. It's like creationism. Wow. Okay, I don't want to work it. I guess. It does not give me a price. Hmm. I can ask about how much it is. I think. Yeah. Let me go ask them. I'll go with you. Hi. Sorry to bother you, but there's a map right there, but I don't know how much it costs. We're thinking of getting it, but we don't know the price. It's uh, it the hard thing in the pocket. You want to write Okay, 
Is it okay if I get this? I know it's kind of conky. It's $30. It's okay. okay. You can get it if you want. Let's see what we got here. What the heck is this? This is... No, there's no conspiracy to quote unquote in back in our trouble. Alright, that's it. Yeah, okay. Let's go eat. Alright.